Welcome everybody to the watch list right here on the Latin Nerds Network. We'll review all the shows that come out on streaming. Of course, at the end of the show, let you know what's coming out so you can create your very own watch list. Consider us your virtual weekly TV guide for your best recommendations. Subscribe below and hit the notification bell to let you know when we're out so you can kind of catch up on what you've missed or agree disagree on our opinions on these shows. Let me introduce, of course, my co-host here live from Houston. It's Senor Jaime, a.k.a. Chewy. What it is, what it was, what it shall be. Happy spring break, brother. Happy, I guess. Uh, I don't go to school, so <laughs> I want to tell you. Uh, it's good to know that you were the last person to see Ant-Man yesterday, so good for you. Uh, you know, hope, yeah. you, hope you turn off the lights and, you know, close the door on your way out of the theater. Um, but, yeah, no, there was someone behind me, so I'm so good. Behind, okay, so that person was the last person to see Ant-Man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but it's a big week, it's a big week, a lot to get into. But, of course, unfortunately, there's some sad news uh, to report uh, in memoriam. What? Very, very saddened to report that, of course, Willow, despite mixed uh, reporting, has been axed at Disney+. Plus. No has it, though? big Has it? Loss. Well, it was reported by a major uh, player. And yeah. then Kasdan, who rest the show, he said, oh, we're still in it. It's not... That's a guy who's clinging on desperately as all the actors were officially released from contract. We have heard that before. And I'm still waiting well, to get back in the contract. A lot of mine hers were still waiting. You said it's never gonna happen. This this is never gonna happen. This show is can Captain Kennedy is on a way out. They don't want to introduce in new shows Chip when a the new game takes over. That's <laughs> how it is. But Chip there's chair, no big dude. loss to anybody because who cares about Willow, honestly? But for you guys that did care, now you know. Look elsewhere. Man, um, someone is salty today. Jesus that show Christ. Ant Man, Willow, what's next? Ant Man wasn't that good. It was, it was kind of bad, to be honest with you. Um, all things considered, Willow is just as good as Ant Man. So, what does that tell you? Still not as bad as National Treasure. I'm waiting for that cancellation. Come on, welcome. There's no memorial for that. Um, yeah. Not yet. <laughs> that, was another, that was another bad show. Uh, but, let's, but let's talk about some good shows. Um, we'll start with one that ended to get your thoughts. I know we, me and Eric talked about this at our nurse planning, our Thursday, usually Thursday night show here in Landers Network. Uh, Chewy Last was a big show on, on HBO Max, um, you know, based off the video game whose viewership increased virtually every week and doubled by the time we got to the finale. Um, reports saying it was even more watched over on totality than even Game of um, House of Dragon, Game of Thrones, which is pretty impressive. Um, that being said, Game of Thrones being an established property and the biggest show HBO's ever had. But that being said, so the finale came and went chewy. And, and we have talked about this since the beginning when it was first released for the most part, I think. Yeah, um, I think we did a little mid season discussion as we well. Talked, yeah, maybe a yeah. two, three, three episodes. After three or four episodes, we, we kind of right. circled back a little bit. Exactly. So now that the series ended, uh, HBO's got its replacement just right around the corner. We'll talk about that later. Um, so, what do you think about the the show and all the finale? What did you end up thinking about the show? Uh, but no, man, I, I, I think uh, watch it was it nine episodes. Yeah, nine episodes. Yes. Kind of wish it was 10 episodes, whatever. Um, but I mean, stellar, stellar show, man. I mean, I didn't play the video game. I have heard things, but this was my cup of tea. Um, but the way that what I saw, what was written, what was portrayed, and even with some of the, the DLC episodes, um, what to heard after the fact that it was DLC, I mean, that was part of the game, um, was just outstanding, man. Um, I was am torn in the last episode on his decision. And, <laughs> yeah, that's what I like to hear. That's a good thing, guys. That's a good thing. Literally mowing down, I mean, one man against an army. I mean, just taking him out. Shop. I mean, it was shot beautifully, right? It wasn't done in a in a, in a a John Wick way, right? Where you have action scenes and sequences. Sure. This was, you know, balanced with, with, with the somber music and the, sh- and, and the slow-mo shots a little bit um, and how it was just methodically taking everyone out. And that, I mean... So that decision, I guess, is, is is what kind of divides the the people even within the game from what I hear as far as did he do the right thing, did he not do the right thing? What would you what would you have done uh, at the end of the day? Uh, and that's at the top. That's a tough, tough call. Um, it, so it, it, it's yeah, it, that makes it difficult. Nothing is it's great, but you you have to think about what is transpired and what would you do. And what would you save her? Would you give her a shot? Would you would you be honest, right? 
Um, and and he essentially took that all away from her in, in that in that last scene, right? In that last moment. Um, but uh, you know, it's so great, man. Great all around. Great flashbacks. Great story. I mean, I, it's up there with the Game of Thrones of the world. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, obviously, I knew the story, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> um, and and just it's kind of, to piggyback off the end, I, I mean, I, that's what I love about the game, right? Because it introduced that. That, that that part that you 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 it's very thought provoking, right? That you have that discussion, right? And the only good source right is divided, but people definitely they didn't mind the decision, but they did question, okay, what would you have done in that situation, right? Uh, even well, even when you she, have to question that decision. Well, you do obviously. You Some have people, to. right? You, there's two I sides mean, of what can we can land on, and but, I think we do, justify. Do it. you do you save yourself or do you try to save the world, right? What what, what do you do? Um, and he essentially went with. Saving someone that he had actually, I guess, to a point loved in in a, in a certain way, sure. right? After being together for so many months and treating her as his daughter or his, or his de facto daughter for the loss of his, and, and making up for the daughter he lost twenty years previously. But how do you? How can you make that decision in such an instant and in such a raw? And then it was it was really a raw, cup, you know, right off the cough to cuff moment of of decide. Okay, this is what I'm doing, no matter what. End of story. No discussion. Yeah, he, he didn't even blink <laughs> twice about it. And I think, I, and that's what I like. I liked about because the game set no, up in the show. No half measures. No half measures, man. The show set up from the very beginning. So I said the, the first episode was so key, and because if you didn't execute that right, the ending wouldn't have been the same, right? Mm -hmm. What he went through, and obviously with his daughter, now he's in that position again. I'm not. I'm not losing another kid. Essentially, in his mind, this ain't gonna happen twice. You know, what I'm saying it's not. It broken the first time. We talked about how he almost committed suicide. Um, and then lying to her at the end. I love that scene because, you know, she confronts him and she knows, she, and you know she knows. She knows, she, 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 she knows he's lying. Right, and she just lied to herself saying, fine, right? And I love the ending. And, you know, with, with the exception of the very first scene with the, have the, the, I'm sure Ellie's mother. And even the last episode, for the most, I'm like 90% of the episode, even when, when she butchers that guy, which is fucking awesome. Um, that is virtually shot by shot, even dialogue, Almost from the game. Exactly. That's how good this game was that you can literally just take what it gave you and you just plop it up on the screen and show and it, and it came out so good. Um, that's why I love the game. You heard me talk about this game many years right? <laughs> leading up to this show. I can't wait because this game is so good and it's exactly why the game is so good. You can adapt it and m make small changes and it comes out stellar television. Um, it's just an incredible story and, and the game to do that, to pull it off in video game is amazing. It really is. I can't wait for the second part. I was talking about this the other day. I'm curious what decisions are made because it's talking about controversy. <laughs> the ending was nothing compared to what happened Here in the go. second one. Early Here part of the second go. one. Yeah. I, I, gotta, I don't know if I have the stones to pull it off. I don't want well, to say everybody says, I forget, dude. The world's over. End but, of story. I, I don't know. So let's see flash what they, more, what they do. Flash forward. <laughs> Dinosaurs are coming back. Zelly go down. <laughs> um, but that means, inter I, I'm kind of curious, but yeah, excellent. It was incredibly well adapted. It's so good. Yeah, it's a must watch for those who haven't seen it. It's it's a fantastic show. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you kind of joined the masses, who, not the masses, but those video games who knew about the story for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so excellent job on them. Uh, let's start with the new story. Nah, I'm waiting for Gears of War, dude. Uh, so, so, Gears of War is not uh, <laughs> very, 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 very bad. Uh, let's talk about a, a show we, I, we almost talked about last week, but we made a mistake on the date. Uh, I haven't seen it, but let you talk about it. And that's Spy Among Friends, uh, MGM mm -hmm. Plus, starring Guy Pierce and Daniel, Daniel Lewis. Two main players here. This seems to me like some kind of spy thriller kind of thing. I don't know. Chewy, correct me if I'm wrong. What's it about uh, and was it any good? Uh, well, it, it's a non, it's based on a nonfiction book, but that has been dramatized. But look, I think the 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 large sports of the events are, are factual, based on actual events. So this happened in the '60s. Uh, so basically, two MI5, MI6, uh, I guess English agents, right? Um, and one comes to find out that the other one had been a Russian spy for since World War II and had been infiltrating English. Uh, 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 the ranks of, of English uh, spy network for, for many years, right? But, but, but So that's the premise, right? That's what he's accused of. And, and so his friend comes in and tries to, to get him, right? And it kind of goes from there. But, it's, but this is a very, very interesting, very good show uh, because it's not linear. Uh, the storytelling jumps back from various time periods and from two perspectives, right? From the, 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 Daniel, uh, the uh, Damian Lewis uh, character, Right, who who's head of 
am I sick? Am I fine? One of these things. Whatever you say, too, sorry, you know, whatever names. And 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 you know, I guess it, it kind of looks like he's pretending to try to bring him in, but maybe he's using him to infiltrate back to the Russian uh, spy network. So it's it's very very interesting. And obviously, we have an investigator who's trying to kind of pick out you know what happened, why did he escape, and what's going on. Uh, but, I mean, I would definitely put this on my high recommend show, uh, Brain Dream Plus. Wow, that good? Okay. That uh, good. They, uh, they dropped two episodes, and, and that was more than enough. And it's only a six episode bro, so that was more than enough to get me. Well, I know, I'm yeah. still waiting to get my seven. I just went for a light, very light week, which is not going to be. Now you're going to have to wait another. another you're going to have to wait a few weeks. I don't know. What, I know next week is packed, <laughs> but to get, you know, finish, get, uh, if you have MGM Plus, you should be watching um, Godfather Horror, no doubt about that. Yeah. Uh, maybe I can squeeze this one in the OC, but uh, I heard that they hear good things about this one. No, this um, was ex- excellent show. Okay, that's good to know. I, I probably may hope that I can still maybe squeeze, but only six episodes is it's, it's doable to some degree. Well, they only dropped two, so I guess it's oh, going to be a right week time. I, I, yeah. I, I probably do it once I'll finish so I can see it all one time. Obviously. Yes, correct. Um, next one, one we were very, very excited about the big release of the week, of course, Ted Lasso season three. Like, I thought you were going to say Shadow and Bone, sorry. <laughs> I forgot about Ted Lasso. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get into that later, but it's not Ted Lasso. Let's just put it, make it very clear. Uh, so <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but Ted Lasso, obviously, the big release, you know, season three, probably the final season. Who knows, right? We all know about Ted Lasso. If you're not watching it, you should be forgot Apple Plus. This is probably one of the top shows, maybe considered the top, top show in, on an Apple Plus, uh, particularly from a comedic standpoint. Only mm-hmm. dropped one episode, you know, and it had a great Star Wars reference in there for those Star Wars geeks, uh, you know. Is pretty cool. Uh, the first episode was fine. It was oh, good. I think I heard it, but now I, I can't remember what, which one it was. Well, he's sitting down at the kind of the, the, the backdrop of like a turn of the Jedi with the Emperor's uh, lair or whatever. Uh, the, the owner of the team that uh, this then needs on. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, so I those, you, you, you can. I, I was watching like, is that? Oh my god, it is. Uh, pretty cool reference. He's the Emperor. Maybe mm-hmm. I guess Nate's a Darth Vader. I guess. Um, but that being said, yeah, it's a good show. It was a good episode. I mean, not you know, set the stage. You know, it wasn't hilarious as I'm used to seeing the show, but it was good, very positive. But it sets up the pieces, and it looks like it's all positive for the show going forward. I don't know how we doubt about that, Chewy. No, man. I mean, what to say, man? This is a great show. It's one of my favorite, one of my favorite Apple Plus shows. It's funny. It's heartfelt. It's it's got its moments. It's got yeah. You know, there's moments that make you cry, make moments that make you laugh. Um, it's just one of these great, great shows. Uh, so Davis is great at oh, awesome. <laughs> Lasso. Yeah. Um, and, and obviously he's a complicated character, right? It's not just a coach, he's a father, he's an ex husband, he's a friend, he's I mean it's everything to everyone, right? Yeah. Um and, and, a, and a stranger in a foreign land in <laughs> in, in, in a sense, right? Yeah, he's a and, and inspiration personified would be a good way yes, to kind of yes, to, absolutely. To describe what he is, you know. Uh, but uh, the Xerani characters are great. Uh, uh, it's just I mean, great, great TV, man. It's, it's still good TV, you know, for the most part. Yeah, this is uh, obviously a must-watch. And I'm glad, and now I, I get why I do one episode, because the show's already big enough. You know, they don't need to release two or three to get No, you're already you know, hooked by this It's time. 10 episodes. Yeah. It's, the lengths are going to vary from 30 minutes to 45 minutes. There's no restriction. Yeah, exactly. And they're just telling that great story, right? And, and they did that last season with some of the episodes where they, where they deviated from, from Ted, but it was great, right? Oh, that's it's good. The, the Nate moments, right? Not, I, 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 and uh, the, what's the what's the assistant coach? The other one, um, from the beard, the beard guy. For his name. No, 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 no. Oh, Roy Kent. Uh, Roy Kent, thank you. The Roy Kent. Awesome, Roy Kent. <laughs> uh, Storyline so, stuff. So uh, he's just yeah. fantastic. But yeah, uh, tell us. I mean, it's pure characters. He's probably I don't know top two or three in T right now as far as the best characters in television. Uh, I just mm-hmm. yeah, uh, him and Butcher. Uh, but no, it's great. You guys must watch if you haven't watched it. Jump on if you have Apple Plus. Absolutely. Uh, now. Let's go to Shadow and Bone, of course, on Netflix season two dropping uh, uh, late last week. This, of course, you know, second season. It is a fantasy show. Ask uh, mm-hmm. people have powers, magic, things like that. It's in a world where it's a warring world, and it's a kind of a something called uh, what they call the um, the fold, which is kind of this huge black cloud wall that divides part mm-hmm. of this world, and inside it you can traverse it, but it's it advice at, your, at your own peril. At your, yeah. yeah, a lot of creatures and dark creatures and shadow creatures and whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's this girl who has the power to maybe finally destroy it, and someone on the other side, of course, who needs her help to amplify it and take over the world. Kind of, that kind of thing, right? Uh, it sounds silly, but this is fantasy. But I like the first season; really cool season. I like that. I like a lot of the characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, second season picks up. I'm passing two. I've seen almost three. 
we have to stop yesterday. My wife is falling asleep. So it's like midnight. I was like, all right, let's go to bed. But uh, good, good, good start. Uh, I'm enjoying it. And I love the character. I love the crow people. Those are the ones my favorite characters. I thought they carried the first season. Uh, with the three guys and the three characters they're carrying this season as well. I like them. I think that storyline's most interesting one to be honest with you. Um, but I'm enjoying it. It's fun, dude. It's a fun show. It's a good show, and I think it's one like you know, it's it reminds me of something like uh, Lock and Key, but I think better than that to be honest with you. Um, well, I, I guess a more adult version. Well, adult, that's what I'm saying. Right? More adult, but it's that kind of yeah. Because Lock and Key had a hard time trying to find its way, it had to yeah. straddle that line between. You're being too too childish, but not mature enough in the content. Right. I think this one is, knows what it is and, and steers on the mature side okay. uh, of the story without being graphic, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the pro people are great. But they've expanded a little bit. They've added a couple more characters to that group, which is good. And still keeping that storyline somewhat separate, at least for these first mm-hmm. three episodes. I'm sure they'll um, converge at some point. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, obviously. obviously. They didn't separate for, for, for no good reason. Um, it, the only thing I wish is, is it's it's hard to keep up with with all the names and all the locations, right? And, yes, and spatially, agree. this is 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 is. I didn't read the books. I'm not going to go back and read these books. I have no interest in reading these books. But you know, I need something visually to show me who and where and what. Because mm-hmm. you mentioned these places, you mentioned East Rafka and Greece and other stuff. I'm like, okay, great. You know, I need a map. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do kind of show you a map, but you still have a good but, sense but, but, of, I mean, it's, it's, of where there I mean, are with the sense of scale. I mean, show, let, let's, let's take Lord of the Rings, right? Lord of the Rings, yeah, it's probably a little more familiar of course. To, to a lay person with the Hob movies and everything. And, but at least even within that show, at least in the first episode, they, they show the location and they were actually, you can see where it is in relation to everything else. Sure. So you kind of knew what was going on, where they were going. Here, I have no earthly idea where they're at. One that's side fair. of the fold, or the other, that's uh, uh, and where, and so that's my only gripe. That's it. And I think I had this gripe at the, at the first season where I don't need, I need some clues as far as where is everybody, where is everything, yeah. right? Don't just say it, show me, because so I understand, so I can get more involved, Agreed. right? Don't make me, don't make me research that, that you know what these, these different make believe cultures and names of places, and not and not understand where is this, right? Am I is left, up, left, north, right, south, what, where, you know? <laughs> that's it. But aside from that, I mean, you know, yes, I'm enjoying it a lot. I, I like how with this season, uh, we almost most shows you have your traditional, uh, traditional, you know, storyboard at the beginning, characters, things, story, whatever. Sometimes it's 30 seconds, sometimes it's no longer with a great intro. This one, the intros are very short, but they've, yeah. they've tailored each episode to kind of lead to a clue to when that episode is happening, right? I mean, mm-hmm. like, for example, the second one, they, they have this little board, the, the shadow and bone, and they start shooting, and you see guns. And that was actually a part of a, a upcoming scene in that episode. So you know, it's a little different, a little different uh, uh, um, a beginning to each episode, which is unique, right? I yeah. think, uh, which makes it great. I think Witcher had something like that as well, and some of the some of the other marquee shows. So that's good that they a little attention to detail. Yeah, no, just I agree. Give, totally. But just give me a damn fucking map, man. No, Please. I know, and, and I don't agree with you that no doubt, which is why it's not a upper echelon great show, right? Because it's missing some small things. But that being said, it's a fun show. It's a good show. Yeah. If you like if you're into the fantasy genre, mm. absolutely, it's very cool. It's one of the better shows that Netflix has in this genre. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, the next one's got Apple Plus because they Apple Plus may need to slow it down. Apple Plus is releasing a lot of stuff. I like that better was one show every few weeks. Now it's like three or four. It seems like it's three or four every week. And I was like, my God. Well, I mean, it's, trying, it's trying to be more of a Netflix level type know, of qual- to, quantity. But they, it's got to be quality. Yeah, they need to slow down because the, the quality, I think, is going down um, to some degree, right? Apple Plus used to be like, you had it here, right? It's quantity over quality, right? Um, but now they're giving us a lot and not everything is hitting, right? Shows like Liaison was okay. Dear Edward was okay. Is okay. Yeah. But we used to be Edward, saying, Edward, I, I told I actually it's enjoyed, good, man. it's a good show. Yeah. But I'm saying it's not like that's not the ones I'm recommending off the bat, right? You go Apple Plus or yeah. watch Ted Lasso, watch uh, the Foundation. I like Shrinking mm-hmm. a lot. Um, yeah, Shrinking is great. Shrinking is great, man. It's a really good show, really, really good show. And we'll fight. And I think it ends, I haven't seen the last episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's one more. Yeah, it is. Uh, so one more episode before it, because okay, we'll last probably, episode. Probably is... But it's great, right? This is the best Harrison Ford there ever been in a long time. But oh. all that being said, and this is a, a, a clear example I'm talking about, so that's uh, extra extrapolations. Extra, extrapolations. Yeah. Extrapolations, I'm sorry. Uh, mm-hmm. so this is like, so with a huge cast, right? I mean, uh, Sienna Miller, Kid Harrington, of course, who played Jon Snow. And even in the year 2037, when the first episode kicks off, he still doesn't know shit. Uh, we got, uh, you know, Meryl Streep, of course, uh, Heather Graham. Big, big cast in this one. This is almost, it all takes place in the future. In a world that was affected by global war- warming, one way or another, so how the world's affected. 
No, I mean, it's, it's making the leap as far as how, I mean, uh, what what the impact will be, you know, starting from 37 and going forward. Right, so, 2047. They make, no, they, make, they make no bones about it. Exactly. And, you know, it's, it's they say it's an anthology. I don't think it is an anthology, to be honest with you, because the character steps up in the first episode that build on those stories in later episodes, right? They released three episodes thus far, and the characters we've seen are characters we were introduced to in the first episode. Yeah, um, so we go from 37 to 46 to 47. Is right, there, exactly. They, the characters themselves are not related to each other mm -hmm. but their stories are told in in, in different fashions through right. through it's each the timeline world. as they exactly. go forward the same if, if what happens in one affects the other so it's not really an anthology i'm not going to really yeah. buy that to be honest mm -hmm. with you um you know i think the guy from uh who's no stranger to apocalypse situations of course the guy from uh, snowpiercer is one of the main characters and the focal point of the third episode i forget his name mm -hmm. um but yeah you know it, it's very hairy handed, right? And it's very preachy and that could turn some people off, right? I, the message is there and we get it, but there's a subtle way of paying that message. They can set up a world where we're now in a world established by the consequences of our actions in many terms when it comes to, you know, global warming and the effects on pollution, et cetera, et cetera. Big corporations and what they do and money and whatever, for me, sacrificing that or the warfare of the humanity, if you will, right? But they could just leave it at that and then focus on stories within this world. They just hammer it down like, hey, five minutes, so big corporation is bad or this person is bad. It's just like, I want a good story, right? And I'm not getting a good story so far. The third one was okay, mm -hmm. but again, it was a very heavy-handed message, more with religion and God and all that uh, than anything else. Not a big fan, dude. This should have been a lot better with this cast than what, what we're given. Yeah. So I, I'm not hating it, but at the same time, I don't know if I'm one of the shows I'm recommended. Two of your thoughts. Uh, I'm not sure where I am on this show. Uh, I mean, I've watched the episodes, and 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 so I get the message right, and and so you know, hence the name extrapolation. Right? The message is good. I'm not saying it's bad. At yes. All. No. 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 Absolutely. Uh, and, and the focus on the, each episode, it's for at least the second and third episode with the Orient one specific characters that we saw in, in the first episode, right? So it could expanding their story years later right mm -hmm. um so so i i i don't know i, I mean I, i'm gonna i'm keep, I'll keep watching it because it's still interesting enough especially the last episode i think i really liked a lot the, 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 um, the third one was the best out of three i yeah. thought personally yeah um, absolutely yeah so enough to what i'm saying okay let me see if that trend continues or not right mm -hmm. so I'll, I'll stick with it but again it's not a show like i'll work a minute to at least see one or two more before i say you know what okay it was just one episode of fluke or to they just improve is there, is there a pattern yeah, yeah right yeah. so it's okay but again without a plus i'm just we're just expecting more sometimes and now that that perception is changing as far as myself with apple plus and what they're giving us well, i mean, I, I mean and they're still giving us good shows and even the shows that end no, no, I, and they have yeah. a lot of stuff coming out that, oh, that i'm like i mean oh. Tetris, that tetris movie i mean i am hyped that tetris for that cool, with, like with Egerton. That. yeah we'll talk about uh, that. it's coming out pretty soon yeah, but i mean yeah. again let, let's see right because we haven't seen it maybe that's mediocre too i don't know but we'll find out uh, yeah. got the other movie, Chris Evans, looks like fun. But, Ghosted. And yeah, course, yeah. That looks like a lot of fun. So, it looks like fun, you know. like a fun little action yeah. flick, you know. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's fine, but let's see. But again, it's it's just... It, oh, Silo. I'm really looking forward Silo. to Silo. Yeah, That's coming out in May with, yeah. uh, what's her name? Um, it's Bong Girl. What's her name? Um, I'm sorry, no. She was at Mission Impossible. Uh, oh, Rebecca like Ferguson. Ferguson. Yeah, yeah, Ferguson. Yeah, Ferguson. Yeah, Ferguson. Yeah. Yeah, no, sorry, not wrong yeah. then, yeah. Exactly, yeah. but again... It, she might have made a bond, you know, everyone's in bond sometimes. That's fair, no, she wasn't, but I mean, she, she could be in bond. <laughs> uh, but no, hey, listen, it's, it's okay, it's just, again, the idea is interesting, but with that... Buyer beware, buyer beware. Yeah, with, beware. with, with that kind of cast, you know, man, you yeah. expect more than yeah. what we got. And, and like, Meryl yes. Streep, right, I mean, she's, you know, actually upper echelon of any actor, period, man, or, or man, man, or female. Mm -hmm. She was wasted in this, to be honest with you, right? She just had a very small role and it's whatever, but... Yeah. Whatever. That being said, uh, not a high recommend to be honest with you. This next one, Netflix, uh, Sky High, the series. Of course, there was a movie Sky High, which I wasn't aware of. Spanish movie. Spanish I missed it. Spanish yeah. The show. Uh, this one here is basically dealing with. I, I guess I'm not finished with the movie, but what I guess it continues that one of the main characters dies in the first one like, in the movie. I guess I don't know. I thought this was a prequel to the movie. That's what I'm a little confused. I didn't well, see the movie, so I thought this. Was I thought a prequel. It was, I thought it was after. That's what. I, that was my thoughts. I read it was a prequel, so I, I but well, I didn't see the movie, I, I so I have no yeah, idea. I saw the poster for the first one, and the guy who's dead in that one is the, the main po the main poster of that one. So, unless he resurrected, I'm thinking. I mean, okay, so maybe maybe yeah. it's it's okay. Then I get it. Maybe I'm okay. I saw the poster for the was word. Maybe the poster was bullshit. I don't, but that yeah. being said, you know, obviously we have this, uh, you know, criminal, uh, you know, organization in Spain, and I guess uh, the 
the main head, the head guy, his daughter trying to break off into her own, do her own thing, and recruit people, and doing you know, just kind of getting involved. And you know, it's, it's it's not easy water to navigate when your dad is the man and you're trying to be the man, right? In other words, um, I let you go first. What do you think about this one? Uh, I only saw one episode, okay. and I had a hard time following. You know, uh, the who went now and the where. And maybe because I didn't see the movie, maybe that leads a little bit to my confusion uh, of the characters. But let me continue watching for more episodes. Like I said, I, I enjoyed a lot of the Heist was great, man. <laughs> well, not Heist Korea. I'm mean, talking about the real one. Like I oh, said, oh, oh, yeah, my, of course. Yeah. And, 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 and Spain, and we're not, we're not talking just, I got a different between a Spanish show and a show from Spain, right? Because this show, when we say Spanish, it'll be either Mexican sure. or Colombian yeah. or Argentina, whatever. Sure. But this is specifically a Spain, a, a Spain, right. Spain production, right? You recognize some of the actors from other Spanish shows, like I said, La Casa de Papel, uh, Elite. There's some, and those are some really, really good Spanish shows that I've enjoyed. Right. Right. The guy who died, um, who, who's dead, and the kid talking about this one, he's the one who's mm -hmm. on the poster. He, he was one of the characters in, in La Casa de Papel. Uh, yeah, and I, well, thought, I thought Money Heist, right? Yeah. Yes, so. yes. So. Okay, so I was on my simple side, so I'm still trying to pay catch up with what's going on, and and because it's a little, it, it, the way they they what I don't particularly enjoy, and many lay people may not enjoy, is like the way they flash back between different times is is very jarring, right? I mean, they don't really set it up, right? All of a sudden, they're at a party, and next thing they're they're going back, they're, they're she's been in, uh, interrogated at the police station, I'm like, wait, what happened? Did I miss something? What's going on? Is that is that flash forward, flashback? Is the party flashback? Right, one of the guys was the party. We see him later on at the show, leading one of the one of these heists. And so, like I said, it's 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 a little it's a little jumpy in the editing as far as how they show it. But it's just one episode. Let me yeah. let me continue watching. I, 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 the editing, I was, I was going to bring it up. So I'm glad you did because the editing is really bad. Um, even in the small scenes, but there's a, I'm not sure if it's second or third episode. It could be the second. One. I don't know. I think at three, I think. Mm. And it's a, a scene where they're you know coming in a little smaller little heist and they're, they're boosting a safe. And then putting it on to uh, bulldozer. No, that's first episode. Is that first episode? Oh no, no, sorry, no, no, that was the right. Okay, okay yeah. that's the next okay. man. From the bulldozer okay. and then from the bulldozer, they take it and put it in the, in the van. And like it gives them a shot, they're dragging it. All of a sudden, it's on the thing, and then but now it's in the van. And like they don't even show. And that this it's just say so incredibly heavy, right? So how they maneuver of one, they don't show. And it's just really jarring endings. And it's not it's, it's poorly made. But that being said, it does get better in the first episode. I agree. The first episode is where I'm like I'm trying to catch up. Like. Well, I didn't see the movie, right? I'm like, is this made just for those who have seen the movie. Like the opening, the opening scene was is a, a heist, but like it was hands in the truck. I'm like, okay, how's that related to now? All of a sudden, we're at, a, at, a, at the, one of the uh, the daughter's kid's birthday party. It's like, right. well, was that before or after? Yeah, it's really right. weird storytelling, yeah. and but it does settle in, okay. and it's okay after that, right? It gets a little more once you know what's going on, you know the players in the game. It's like okay, settles in. Now the story begins to form, so it takes a little bit. But it's getting better. Yeah. I lightly recommend if you like if you're into Sp shows from Spain. I keep saying Spanish shows. Yeah, it's a light recommendation. I haven't seen the movies. So I don't know the movies good. If you're fans of the movie, I assume you're gonna like the show. Same, some of the same characters, I guess. So, well, they made a show after the movie, so they must. Yeah, have right. Fans. So whatever. But I'm yeah, not familiar with the movie. But it's a decent show. It's okay. Again, it's it's okay. standard, but it does it does improve beyond that first episode, no doubt. Okay. Uh, next one, back to Apple Plus. This is more of a not really a documentary. It's not a reality show. It's a docu reality show, right? So kind of like if if you will. Um, mm -hmm. not, it's, not yeah, yeah. it's not it's not one monster, of the other monster plays, factory right, right mm -hmm. monster factory this is one where it kind of chronicles uh this monster factory is a uh wrestling training center which hopes mm -hmm. to you know move the transition, new jersey it, it, its members to you know the new big jersey WWE or whatever the case is and it follows particularly the the, the main guy the owner and i guess four or five of their particular wrestlers who are trying to make it big first episode of focusing mm -hmm. on the woman on a girl who actually started really young and even now she was 19, who actually got a contract with WWE, and they kind of go through that, which is pretty interesting. Oh, don't spoil it, man. Damn. First episode, dude. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, it's good, man. It's more designed for the wrestling fan, right, I think? Pro pro probably. I mean, you know? uh, I mean, like I said, I haven't seen, watched wrestling much, you know, you know, for many years, right? We did when we were kids, right, yeah, back in the well, 80s, and then, and then we picked it back up. In the nineties, with with the with the advent you know, of area, uh, WWE, yeah, WWE, yeah, WWE, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the Rock, and, you know, X, X generation yeah. and Triple second, H, yeah, and, and the end of yeah, yeah, definitely, man. yeah, Stone Cold. I mean, that was just yeah, exactly that was that, the was, that, was, that was probably the the one of the biggest marketing coups of all time, dude. The whole N NWO, yeah. the, the the NWA versus WWF at the time, mm -hmm. uh, fight, which was just great TV, man. It was yeah. hilarious. It, 
Um, and, and obviously with the rise of The Rock, who's probably the pinnacle uh, of, of, of wrestling personas, right, at the end of the day. But uh, no, I found it to be very interesting. Uh, uh, you know, obviously, the, the, this is a real place, a real coach, uh, and, he's, and he's actually helped a lot of people get into the business, right, make it to that, to that next to that elite level, yeah, right? It's got a good and, and, success rate. You know, it's not high, yes. but for wrestling, it's high compared to, to comparison to other organizations that do the similar kind of work. Yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's like with with any with any sport, right? The the the, the top tier is, is is very limited number of spaces, and it's a whole big base at the bottom trying to get in, right? So it's not easy, uh, and it takes a little bit. It takes a lot of skill, and it takes a little bit of luck, right? Because it's, yeah, it's it's about like getting sport, noticed. Yeah. It's about being at the right place at the right time, being seen, and so you know it all plays together. But they, they focus on these time. characters. Real people who, who who are dedicated, who are wanting to, and they go to school because uh, they, this is what their their ultimate dream is, right? To make it to the, to the show. <laughs> and so I saw one episode. I enjoyed it, man. It was really, really good. 30 minutes, 46 minutes, I think. So not very terribly minutes. long. I put it on, and yeah. I, I was on cooking. So later on, I put, I put it on the background, so I can kind of watch. I'm not sure. You can just mm-hmm. kind of hear in the background, crazy, and watch and all that. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's like, a, I mean, I was a wrestling, a prior wrestling fan. You appreciate what they go through, because it is difficult, right? It's fake. Uh, mm-hmm. It's all, all TV's fake. A newsflash. Right? It's all scripted, okay? But just the physicality, what they go through, that's no joke. Right. These guys are mm-hmm. in top shape, and it's it's incredible. The training that's in, that's involved to, yeah, to do to be at this yeah. level is, is just like with any it. any other sport. I mean, it's yeah. you're talking elite level training, elite exactly. level performance. Yeah, yeah. and it's most of them are elite level athletes. Just make no mistake mm-hmm. about that, right? Who can perform? So it's a combination of acting and athletics, mm-hmm. right? But it's, it's it's amazing to see a watch and you know pan out and root for some of these guys, some cool characters in there. So it's interesting. I enjoyed it. If you're a wrestling fan, I think it's definitely right up you guys. That no question about it. Um, this yeah. last one here, I'm ready to talk about. I don't think you've seen it yet. I don't think it's been released yet. But I saw. I actually caught Lucky Hank, which actually releases today. Uh, yeah, actually, I last since I don't have AMC Plus anymore, have we done Yeah, I forgot. I forgot <laughs> to start it on. I was like, looking. I was like, oh, I still have. It. I forgot to cancel it. But oh, whatever. Let me watch it. Uh, of course, Bob Odenkirk. You know, come on. Better call Saul Breaking Bad. He's great. Nobody love that movie. Um, he's good, and he's he's good in this. No hey, man, don't forget Seinfeld. <laughs> he was in Seinfeld too. That's right. I don't know what character he played, but he, he was, was in yeah, the doctor, the doctor who hadn't had his, uh, hadn't passed his uh, medical uh, that's, exam. Oh, yet. that's right. Oh, that's right. They didn't land at the time. Uh, like he had, it felt like three times or something. And yeah, then yeah, that's right. He that's the made episode where, where George yeah. like figures out that if you you know if you remove something, you become like she became stop sex, you became super genius or something, and, oh, and the lady became completely yeah. stupid because she cut him she off. Have sex. <laughs> so she, yeah, because he's studying for this test. <laughs> that's right, and it's funny because not really well, he's in Breaking Bad, but Brian Cranston also in Breaking Bad. Oh, so uh, um, <laughs> so, <laughs> and Titan, Titan. But uh, that being said, so he starts yeah, in this one. Sorry, yeah, sorry. So, uh, much, <laughs> di- much different role than we're used to. He, he's a uh, English professor. He's the head of the department, some small school, I believe, in Pennsylvania. He's going to kind of a midlife crisis. He's in this. He's reveling the mediocrity he believes that he is, and his surroundings and the students in the school kind of gets him a little bit of hot water with the students, the faculty, and of course his wife. One episode dropped. Supposed to be a, a dramedy. It's kind of being billed at. Um, so it's kind of, so it's hard to see where the show's, you kind of know where the show's going. It's very low stakes here, right? It's a very mm-hmm. simple show. I enjoyed it. I didn't love it. Um, I needed one or two more episodes to, I think we'll talk about it next week when you see one, I'll probably see, have seen the second one to see where it's going, but I enjoyed it. I like him. It's got some funny moments. I can tell what they're trying to do. I need to see a little bit more for me to say, yeah, guy, this is not must watch, obviously, but it, it's not bad. I like the characters involved and like the situation's funny. The faculty is interesting, the kind of funny characters in there. So let's see. It's about Bowden Kirk. He can pull off comedy and, and drama as easy as anybody else can. So I'm sticking with it. But if you haven't seen it, Give It a World comes out tonight uh, on AMC, which leads us right into what's coming out next week. Uh, besides today, of course, Lucky Hank later on on AMC. Again, definitely get, catch it. It's worth enough to give it. Form your opinion on the first episode coming up, but I enjoyed it. Um, big week. Uh, well, not a big week, but we got a huge next Sunday, which really is next week, but let's move we'll talk about it now. What the hell? Uh, let's start first on Wednesday. Uh, if you see Lucky Hank tonight, get a couple of days off, catch up with some shows. Waco, American Apocalypse, I guess is what it's called. Netflix documentary yes. on Waco. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys, well, you may be familiar with it, of course, and this. Maybe, Branch uh, Davidians. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, story David back, Koresh. Back in the day. When, when is this back in? I forgot what year, what year this took place. I, I, I want to say... Was it 90s? Or yeah, because J- Janet Reno was was, was the uh, 
was the attorney general. So this had must have been in the Clinton administration. So this had 90s. to be late nineties. Yeah, I think it's yes. yeah, of course. You know, the whole thing with the with the cold and all that. It's an interesting story. So I'm looking forward mm-hmm. to that. So li- li- okay, Waco, Texas, of course, Texas. Um, bunch of crap next, right there. Same day. I think the season two of Invisible City. I never saw season one. I think it's a Brazilian show. Almost like uh, fantasy. Yes, 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 it is a Brazilian fantasy show. So I saw season one. Uh, I enjoyed it, right? Good. Uh, okay. I, mean, I didn't get the chance. And, no, always supporting our our Latin brethren from around the Americas. Agreed. Um, so that's season two. Um, maybe I can mm-hmm. start season one after I got time to catch up on that one. Next night on Thursday, we have uh, again on Netflix the the Night Agent, which is another mm. kind of typical. It seems like a very typical kind of political thriller. We see Netflix have. We seen recently with the Recruit, which I enjoyed. Uh, mm-hmm. The one with that Charlie Cox was okay. And they've done a bunch of mm-hmm. others, right? Um, but this one, you know, it's a guy who I guess works the night shift he's in the FBI or whatever the case is, and he's graveyard shift. The graveyard shift. So he's a scrub, obviously, and he's got some it's a black phone that's there, which never rings ever unless it's some kind of rare, uh, you know, emergency. And it just, of course, it rings on his shift, and he picks it up, and now he gets caught up in some espionage situation, a mole in the White House, whatever. So it, whatever, these shows are usually okay more times than not. Um, but we'll give it a whirl. Uh, the 24th, I think it's Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Friday. Yes. It's uh, besides going to go see John Wick. Yeah, should see John Wick. Uh, it's Yellow Jackets. Um, season two. Season two. Uh, I'll probably have to wait to see it. I like season one a lot. I know you're a big fan of the show. Uh, one of Showtime's better shows. I've not made best shows. Yes. Probably, I think. Yeah, I'm going to get the, I'm gonna get the, the, the Showtime bundle with the Paramount so I can watch this. Perhaps I'm having a chance to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I had Showtime last year. You did, yeah. And I, and I caught on yeah. everything and I caught the first season. It's a very good, excellent show. Very good. So yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah, this is the big show yeah, yeah. of the week, right? The big show of the week. And yes. this really ends the week. It's technically his next three shows are technically next week. But we we'll remind you guys anyway, because maybe you, you guys, you guys watch, don't watch this week. You watch it next week. But either way, so Succession coming up, the final season, Emmy Award winning show. Of course, I got to fill that last of his void. What do we do? Put in succession, right? Another great show. Oh, I mean, I hear it. it's a big drop off between Last of Us and Succession. Listen, That's I'm not, all I'm I'm not, yeah, I'm not as huge as fan this show as others. It's a show we probably won't talk about, be honest with you, because it's already fifth season. If you're not watching it right now, you ain't going to watch that show, right? Let's be honest. And I'm not that big a fan of the show. It's a good show. I'm not going to say it's not, because it is. But fans out there, it's coming out. Uh, yeah. Same day, three shows on the same day on Sunday. You got the Great Expectations, a, a movie? No, it's a series, I'm sorry. No, it's a series it's a, uh, a based on the Charles Dickens book on Hulu. Exactly. They're, mm-hmm. they're taking the stab at this, uh, you know, literal adaptation. Their interpretation of this book. Right, yeah. so mm-hmm. it's Hulu. Hulu's been good to us, you know, recently, so we'll check it out. Let's see. Sunday. Yeah, what else let's is see. there, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and, of course, on Paramount Plus, they're, they're going to pick our rights since we got Mayor Kingstown ending, so they need something else. Rabbit Hole, another espionage thriller starring the great... Kiefer Sutherland, the Lost Boys. Okay, 24. So, oh, sorry, never mind. Of, of 24, <laughs> not 24. Of 24 fame. He's the Lost Boy. He's an asshole. I don't care about him. Yeah, it's um, true. You know, Flatliners. Yeah, sure. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, it's coming out. I guess, I guess like, some kind of espionage thriller. I don't know. Uh, well, I've seen the trailer, so so it looks, it literally, yeah, he's going down the rabbit hole, right? And so there's, there's a lot of espionage. There's a lot of, is it real, is it not type of situation and what's going on. So doesn't know who to trust. So it looks very interesting. Again, with Paramount Plus, they've been hit it with, with Tulsa King, with Mayor of Kingstown. Uh, it's, it's school spirits I'm enjoying. And so it's hopefully this good. is uh, hopefully good. this is on that end versus the, the Wolfpack yeah, even or Picard, Team Wolf really or good. whatever. Picard's been really good this season. Oh, um, Picard's been really good, really great, good. man. Yeah. This, this season has been, yeah. I mean, not only the best by far, but by I mean, far. just as a standalone yeah. season, it's been outstanding, yeah, man. Very, yeah, it's been really good. So they, they, they've been hitting, they, they, they're, they're, they're creeping up, you know, the the, the ranks amongst the, the streamers. So yeah, so Rabbit Hole, let's keep the Southern. So I'm looking forward to it. So we'll, obviously we'll... We'll have to wait two weeks before they talk about this show, but hopefully it's good. Uh, so that's it. Good. Big week, big Sunday next week. So clear your schedules, create your watch list. And that will be all for today. Chewy, a pleasure as always, guys. Subscribe, like, and share every Sunday. Check us out around 11 ish for the most part. Hit the notification bell so you know. And we'll see you guys next Sunday. Peace.